fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going for the brand new Legends for Saturday now. Pretty crazy, guys, to be quite honest with you guys. So, if you've been following this year, Madden has progressively loaded up overalls as the year has progressed, right? And it hasn't been, like, super quick. So, it would be, like, we get a 93 overall Legends the first week of October. And then we get 95s the final week of October or the first week of December. It was pretty it was pretty bracketed, pretty segmented off that it would keep progressing in overall slowly. And honestly, there was no problem with it. But then, something happened. Christmas came around now. I'm not sure if this has to do with quarterly goals money but they have decided to say all hell to overall bracketing and just give us exactly what we want when we want it and how we want it now i'm not gonna say i'm complaining but i do have some i do have some fears that the game may die at a shorter period of time than usual because typically as soon as we start hitting 99 overalls things start to you know bottom out now here's here's an example let's go to legends real quick the legend sheds Legend sets should be out. Sean Alexander and Michael Strand are new guys. Now, here's the thing. So, let's go back to when we had, you know, 92 overalls, right? So, we get two weeks. We get two. So, one, so this is week one. The well, first week of 92 is one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. It took four weeks. So, a whole month on we went up to 93 overall. 93 is one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, four weeks, another whole month. 94, one week, two weeks, two weeks. And then it was like, okay, that was quick. 95 is one week. One week total. 96 is. Now their LTTs are 97s. So we're going to be looking at 97 overall legends. When we made, so pretty much in four weeks, we made like three to four overall jumps. Look, one week, two week, three week, four week. Okay, in five weeks, we did four, which is about four overall jumps, which is, or three overall jumps like that, which is something we didn't do at all, all year. But enough of that, but I just want to get that out of the way. Overalls are getting up there. It's happening very fast, guys. Remember, a good way to make some decent coins, as per usual. Heading over to the Legend Solos. Go ahead to the new Legend Solos release 19. Go play the Alexander and Strand Solos as quick as possible. Like I said, super easy. Hop in, you start an off edge, you do half back dive. Single back, half back dive is usually come out of that inside zone. You run shoot clock, you finish the first quarter and second quarter in like five minutes. Go out on defense, you force a fumble real quick, which is super simple and, you know, easy or rookie. And then you just go on again and do the same thing. It takes a little more than like 10 minutes. And quickly, you just sell the power up. Sometimes you can sell for like 10K, 8K, 12K, depending on um, how, you know, how rare, the, how, how many people want the power by that time. And sometimes it can last a bit like longer, like an hour or two. The power up goes to at least like 18K, 15K, 20K. And then, sh and then sh slowly it'll get down to like 5K because, you know, it's free. Everyone can get it. People are lazy, right? Even me. I'm one of the lazy ones that will buy it sometimes if I need to do a gameplay or I want to go play online weekend or something, I'll just go ahead and pick it up. But moving on from that, guys, let's get it over to the store. I do have an unopened pack, though. Let's see. Okay, so I have a Frozen Player Evan Ingram Holiday Pack. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, hold up. Oh, cool. So we all get a free Evan Ingram. That's pretty cool. I, I, I would assume, right? So let's go, let's, let's go check that out real quick to see. I don't know if I got that late or if I got that early. Let me go check that out before you get into all the legends and check everything out. Let's go to newest. So by newest. Evan Ingram goes for 4,000 coins. So I assume that everyone's getting that. Everyone's gotten it already. I don't know why I got that so late. People probably have been getting that stuff. All right, let's move on to legends. Let's go check that out. That's what I'm kind of concerned about here anyways. Now, what I'm wondering is, are these legends going to continue at this trend, right? If they continue at this trend, we're going to have 99 overalls. Well, like, Team of the Year, right? I guess Team of the Year going to be continuing with this trend. Because Team of the Year continues this trend. We're going to have 99 overalls, like, instantly, right? Got Legends. So, Michael Strand is up the 97 overall. That is crazy. Michael Strand, 97 overall, is up on the block. I'm super excited about this Michael Strand. If you guys don't already know, I'm a Giants fan, so Michael Strand is one of my all-time favorite guys. This car looks insane. It's kind of weird that we haven't gotten to Michael Strand just yet, though, because usually we get Michael Strands every year pretty early. He's one of the first base legends, at least recently we have been. So left end for the Giants, power rusher, 
89 speed, 91 excel. Great athleticism. 94 strength, great. 96 tackle, amazing. Animal player acts good. 96 block shed. Wow. 97 power move, 91 finesse move. If you look at that, if you put, if you put a pass rush on him, he will get to a 99 power move with ease. He will be a 99 pass, pass rusher as well as a 96 run stuffer. He's going to be one of the most well-rounded, dom he's going to be one of the most dominant ends in the entire game. He can rush, he can run stuff, and he's super athletic. Michael Schrein is pretty much end game at this point, right? Like, like that's that's what I'm saying. We're getting like end game level cards. These cards are pretty crazy. 97 impact block, which is going to be blowing up. You know, guys coming up, at him. especially like in a pulling scheme or like, you know, you guys know what I'm trying to say. On the left end gets kind of like free, and he's not instantly blocked. He's going to be blown up from guys on the impact. 95 hit power, which means he will be great at forcing fumbles if he can get a running back on a pitch and a hit stick, or if he can you know do get a quick shed and hit stick a dive or inside zone. Michael Strand's going to be really good. And we knew he was going to be really good, but this more so confirms it already. Like, he's going to be nasty. This Michael Strand's great. Now, 97 overall, he cannot be powered up, of course. We knew that, though. We're going to have to go ahead and rock with an LTD. Or you can get the 96 overall and then power him up. It's going to be the same thing. The difference is it's a bit easier if you power him up first for when the next Michael Strand card comes out, potentially. But again, we might not get a Michael Strand card again. And if we do, it would be Ultimate Legends, so the whole new breath until like April or March of anything. So I wouldn't really look forward to that. If you're going to get Michael Strand, probably just maybe just pick up the LTD and just rock with that. You can really do what you want there. He's going to be expensive, though, as we all know. Michael Strand's going to hold a pretty high price value for a decent amount of time. I think he'll probably end up settling around like 900, anywhere between 600 to 900 k for the time being once it settles down because 97 overalls are just insane right now. Like they are far and away the best players in the game. And then, of course, we have Sean Alexander. Now, Sean Alexander is going to be really good. Now, the only thing is we did just get Bo, which it will make this a bit more competitive, of course. I'm not sure how much, but let's go check him out. 95 speed, 96 Excel. Wow, so he's going to be right there with Bo. Pretty close, 1 speed and 1 Excel short, I believe. 91 agility, 94 carrying, 76 catching, 93 change of direction, 94 trucking, 97 break tackle. 89 strength, and of course 76 catching, which is pretty actually pretty solid considering Bo can't catch at all. Um, let's see, 95 juke move, which is super good. 95 stiff. He's got 97 break tackle, 97 short running, so he's actually a pretty decent receiving back. Considering and he has power back animations. Let's go check out Bo real quick. I want to do a quick stack comparison because that's, that's that's pretty important in my opinion. Let's change this up to Ghost of Madden Past and see if we can get. A um, quick stack comparison from Bo. Now, Bo is going to be pretty expensive. Oh my lord, where's Bo? I wish I would have got that 500k one yesterday because this Bo is really expensive. Okay, so Bo has plus one speed, plus one excel. I believe similar agility, similar trucking, similar break tackle. Okay, so pretty much Sean Alexander is slightly more power for less athleticism. At the end of the day, you probably want to pick the athleticism because a dip trucking barely works when it does, and if it does work, I think I'd rather have the faster speed and agility for a similar trucking. Catching's a big deal. The boat is a horrible receiving back. Always have been. If you ever try to run routes with Bow, you end up with Bow. He's so clunky and he never really feels like he can catch one. If he does get a catch and he gets hit, he's dropping it. I've always been more of a. Uh, I've ever really hated that about him. But again, it's not the biggest of deals. Stiff arm's not as good. Juke's not as good. But again, he can get powered up, so Juke should be similar. But the stiff arm is going to go to. Well, again, all the powers are going to go to Sean Alexander. And all that stuff. But again, Bo's going to be faster, more athletic, can be powered up off the rip. But he is going to be probably more expensive. I mean, Bo should come down in price eventually. But actually, now, Rob Woodson is really good. I'm surprised he's this cheap. Rob Woodson's insane. So if you guys want to pick up Rob Woodson, I do not. I will not contest that. Now, real quick, guys, before we get out of the video, I do want to compare the, the 50 cards as well. Because, of course, those are some new cards, too. I'm interested to see how the market's been going with these. So, Randy Moss is only 420. That's not horrible. Of course, that's probably because you have to power them up. I don't even want to know what his power up looks like right now. Michael Vick's 515, Dion's 580. I mean, that's kind of it's kind of how this was always going to go. I, I always I always told everyone I was I was from saying that Vick would be at the, up there, and yeah, I didn't think Randy would be as expensive for that reason. Is that first off, his power up is so expensive, so that usually can kill the value of the card, as well as the fact that he's a wide receiver. Right at the end of the day. Tyreek kills 95 speed, you know, Dion's 95 speed, you know, that one speed difference isn't going to break the game. His story is going to be insane, but Michael Vick, finally an all-threshold quarterback with 96 speed. 
game breaking. I have Deion Sanders an all threshold cornerback with like ninety seven speed. It's, it's just it's just no brainer, especially when we have guys like Randy. You need a guy like Deion to defend a guy like Randy. Okay, the premature after today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on boys. boys. You guys need coins, heading over to Mutt Reserve and scoop up some coins, guys. You're gonna need them. So many good cards are still coming out, like we're not even done yet. But that is about it. As well, guys, if I had to rank them, I'm going Sean Alexander second. And first, I'm going Michael Strahan for this week's Legends. Like doing it. Enjoy the rest of your video. Day, I'm out. Peace.